going to show y'all. I got a hole in my shirt. Mm -hmm. So, so what is you looking at? Not the sun, not the sun. Bitch a fight, bitch a fight. One so two down, three so. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If I think I'm saying it wrong, it's been a minute. It's hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time stopping by. Thank you, my name is Shay. Y'all already know what the video is gonna be about. Okay, so I just did some box braids a couple days ago and I'm going to show y'all, I got a hole in my shirt. I'm gonna show y'all how I got them into this bun. And they are 50 inches. I'm gonna show y'all the type of hair that I use, um, a few tricks that you have to get done before you, or when you get your braids, done so that you can get into a bun that's within regulation okay um a lot has been going on since my last video i'm starting on my fourth or fourth or fifth cycle on the trail i don't remember which one and i also recently got promoted to staff started since my last video so career wise everything is going well personal wise too but career wise everything is great so if you guys want to see how i got my hair into this bun continue to watch the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all next time okay y'all so before we get into the actual making of the bun some things you will need are two scrunchies okay so you'll need this bigger one right here um for the securing of the ponytail and then you'll need this one to secure the actual bun after it's made. Well, if you're a person who likes to layer edges like me you will also need some edge control okay so these are the edge controls that i use um, this is Style Factor Edge Booster, Edge Control, Pomade, whatever you want to call it. They have a smaller jar, then they have this super big jar, then they have a jar that is smaller than this one that I actually take with me to work in case I need to reapply, okay? But these work. I am a drill sergeant. We are outside most of the day, and my edges stay laid like all day. And you will also use a edge brush to lay them, okay? But I've already laid them. Um, prior to starting this video. So as far as the hair, when I braided my hair, I use this braiding hair right here. It's called Queen Bee Braid. It's the 50 inch braiding hair and it already comes pre-stretched so there's nothing that I have to do to it. Okay, so um, the width of your braids is gonna play a big part in whether or not you're able to get a bun, that, <clears throat> a bun that is within regulation. So as you can see with my hair, right, it already comes pre-stretched so there's a dent because I've already been wearing a ponytail. But um, it's thicker at the top and then it gets thinner as you get to the ends of the braids. This is what's gonna get you a good bun, okay? So I have the 50 inch braids. This is what they look like. Um, I'm 5'8 and they come down to right here, okay? So right on top of my butt is how long they are. The parting method that you wanna use is the brick layered style parting method that just, um, I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can. So if you look at my hair, I parted it in boxes and I just make sure that, so if I'm on this row, I make sure on the next row that the braid can lay, or which one is it, this one? This braid can lay like flat between the bottom braid. It's hard to explain it, but if you look on YouTube and you just type in um, brick layering method for parting your box braids you'll see exactly what i'm talking about so your style is make sure that that's the parting method that they're using for your braids it'll just help your braids to lay flatter um and it'll be easier to get a bun that's within regulation so i start with my hair down i pull it back like so and then i just go around and make sure that there are no lumps Okay, so I don't want to insult anyone's intelligence, so all I'm doing is putting my hair into a ponytail, okay? So I'm using the bigger scrunchie, and I'm going to wrap that around my hair three to four times, just depending on um, how many times you feel like you need to wrap it. So I wrap it up there. I make sure it's not too tight um, by turning my head and doing all of that kind of stuff to ensure that there's no tension on my edges or on the nape of my neck. So here we're going to pretty much use the, um, it's called the roll and tuck method, I think is what they call it. So all you're going to do is start by rolling your hair that's left out um, at the ends. So I'm rolling, 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 and I'm turning it, right? So once I get to the like middle part of the bun, I'm going to hold or secure like the bun with my left hand. I'm doing that to make sure that I'm keeping the bun as close to my um, head as possible so that there's not like a gap once I get the bun completely wrapped around. So I'm just going to speed it up here a little bit. I'm going to continue to um, 
twist it. That's what it is. Twist and tuck. <laughs> twist it, twist it, twist it. Continue to twist and tuck it. And then once I get to this side, I'm also holding it again with my hands just to make sure that I'm keeping the bun as close to my head as possible. So here, I'm pretty much done. Just tucking in any loose braids that might be like poking out. So I can look in the back of my head and make sure I didn't leave anything out or no braids are coming out. So like this one here is coming out. Um, if you can see. And I just tuck it. Fix any loose braids. Like so. Look around, make sure that it's as flat as possible. And like that. So that's pretty much it. Like you can stop at this part if you want it to. So we're usually outside most of the day. If we're not doing anything crazy, like an obstacle course or anything like that, I would stop at this step. But if we're like outside, doing PT, doing an obstacle course, anything like that, we're in the field, I will go the extra step, take the other scrunchie and secure the bun with this one. Um, so it's nothing major to it. I literally just take the scrunchie and go over the bun. So as you can see, I'm standing at the position of attention. You cannot see the bun extending out like you can't see it behind my head. Just looking at me at the position of attention. Super easy to do. Literally, I lay my edges at night. I wake up in the morning, take my scarf off, put my hair in the bun. Okay. The trick is to make sure that your braids are thinner at the bottom. That's literally it. You want to make sure that your braids are super thin at the bottom because the bulk of your hair um, will be on top, right? You can usually you usually fine with that, right? As long as your PC fits and everything like that, they're all the same size. This is where the bulk is going to be. You don't want it to be too bulky on the ends because then it's going to make your bud super bulky and then you'll be out of regulation. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to um, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. So what is you looking at? Not the sun, not the sun. Bitch your face, bitch your face. One, two, three, down, down.